parliamentary processes, they are trying to misuse, they are trying to misuse the liberty given to all the honourable members. And this is clearly reflective of their mentality. When the government is ready to discuss Manipur, when the government has already acceded to the sense of the House that there should be a discussion on Manipur, they have already spoiled, sir, nine days, nine important days of the House. Nine days, the country is watching that this debate could have happened on the first day itself. Government had agreed for it in the all-party meeting. I see no sense, and I wonder what is the message they are trying to give. Are they running away from the debate? What is it that they are trying to hide? In the, in the dadi mein kuch kala hai, koi na koi taklif hai, jisse ye bhaag hai, inko koi na koi taklif hai, ke Manipur ki sachai saamne lane nahi te rahe. Mujhe lagta hai, vipaksh ke logo ne introspect karna chahiye, vipaksh ke logo ne ek baat kuna vichar karke tay karna chahiye. Is sadan mein Manipur ki charcha hum chaate, hum aaj ki aaj chaate, आज की आज चर्चा शुरू की जाए 176 रूल में और आज की आज कूट का दूध पानी का पानी हो जाए मुझे लगता है ये विपक्ष की रणनीति रोज आपको तकलीफ देना कोई नाम पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है पूरा सदन इस बात से सहमत है कार्रवाई शुरू की जाए और आज दोपहर को ही दो बजे मणिपुर के ऊपर चर्चा शुरू की जाए well, the discussion certainly seems to be happening. At least the government is pushing for it. The leader of the House, Mr. Piyush Goel, put forward, and I would say it's a googly he threw at the opposition parties. But remember, the government has repeatedly been accused by the opposition parties of not wanting a discussion on Manipur. What the op government is now doing is saying, okay, we fix a time at 2 p.m., let's have a discussion on Manipur, but under Rule 176, because there's important legislation which is pending, which also needs to be taken up. That said, the cat among the pigeons. That is when we saw very strong opposition coming in from the opposition parties. Multiple notices have been given under Rule 267, whether it's by the India Front opposition, whether it's by the BRS. What Mr. Kharge stood up and said is, of course we want a discussion on Manipur to take place, but it has to be on our terms, which is under Rule 267. Why is it that so they wanted? Because it one, uh, gives out a sense of urgency. What means is that Manipur becomes top priority. No other the bill, no other legislation, including the Delhi ordinance, cannot be taken up till Manipur is discussed. Also, Rule 267 has a gravity attached to it, which means it will be trying to pin down the government that the most important matter in the country at this point of time is Manipur. 2018 was the last time that under this rule a discussion took place on the demonetization issue when Mr. Hamid Ansari was the chairperson of Rajya Sabha. Well, the government has now thrown it at the opposition parties. If they don't take part in the discussion, they will then henceforth be accused as they already are being accused of actually being non-serious about having a discussion on Manipur, raising the Manipur issue only as a political scoring point. That is something which has been rejected by the opposition party. It is very clear that opposition don't want a discussion under 176. It's a fight over the rules.